This is Texas Radio Hall of Fame inductee and groove dog, Jim Pruitt. San Antonio, Texas was the birthplace for the broadcast beginnings of Martha Martinez. The youngest of four girls, the radio was her constant companion. Growing up to the tunes and news of the day on KTSA, K-I-T-E, and K-O-N-O. It was album rocker K-E-X-L that gave her a shot on the air. And while the format was short-lived, her bosses knew that Martha had the right stuff. So it was across the hall to K-I-T-E where her talents truly began to blossom. In 1977, a former boss had moved to KFJZ in Fort Worth and offered Martha a major move. She accepted. As FM Signals started making inroads, they too desired Martha's talent. K-N-U-S, K. KMGC, and then KEGL. By the mid-80s, Stevens and Pruitt had earned a reputation as the bad boys of rock radio. A strong female presence was required to balance out the show. Martha was the ideal candidate, and it wasn't long after joining us that KLOL in Houston started to phone us and drive us crazy, and they wanted us. So off we went for an unbelievable run as one of the top radio shows in the history of mankind. Economics and a changing industry led to Martha's departure from KLOL. She went back to Big D for challenging work at the first ever CBS, All News FM, KEWS, and the first young country station in America, and then a return to Houston for another attempt at All News on FM. Her expertise and reputation made her an attractive piece of the puzzle that is to date the most successful FM news station in Houston, KROI News 92 FM. But... To so many of us, she will always remain the news muchacha. Martha Martinez, a 2013 inductee of the Texas Radio Hall of Fame.